Okay, so this is my laptop. I bought it in 2019. So this has 4 GB NVDMX 250, 8 GB Samsung DDR4, 266 megahertz of RAM, and uh, 256, 256 GB of SSD and 1 TB of hard drive. It is enough. It is powerful enough that my videos get rendered easily. Like if it's a 4K, then it takes a lot of time, and if it's uh, 1080, then it's uh, it, the video gets rendered within 12 or 15 minutes. That's great. Alright, so but I needed some more power, so I bought this crucial RAM. This is 8GB DDR4 266 megahertz. Okay, and so now let's change it. So now the phone will go on the stand. Whoop, yeah. See how does my desk look because I'm very excited to put this RAM into my laptop. So I have kept my tools ready, and there's one parcel of my mom that I have to written, and that's that is my small notepad. So any updates if I get, and I'm not, I I haven't opened any editor in my laptop, so I can just comp uh, like quickly note it down in uh, in the notepad. And so just I'm working. It's around. It's how much? It's almost about to be three. I will complete a meeting. I have a meeting at three, and then we'll see. And then I will get free by four. So. I need to install it as soon as possible, yeah, because I want to see how it performs. Okay, so this is the crucial 8GB 2.6MHz RAM. So this has a Samsung 2.6MHz RAM, but uh, HP wale BIOS me set kar rakhte hain, to ye sirf 2400MHz ka hi power de hai mujhe. So I hope the slot 2 which is empty for this one, so it gives me ample amount of power. So let's see, tab tak ke liye, back to work. It's around 4.30, I'm done with my work. And let's get going with changing this beautiful. So if you can see that I just ordered some stickers and I stuck it here and yeah so now let's change the RAM. Oh, we won't be throwing it. This will be going very politely here. Okay, so at first we will be opening the screws. Okay, so in such laptops, as you can see uh, here, you can see only three screws right here. So one, two, and three. No, there are two more screws, and that those are in the foot pegs, right under the foot peg, beneath that. So for, so for this I have this uh, toolkit and uh, so in almost all the HP laptops there will be Philip head screws in total two Philip heads in total two Philip head screws uh, will be used so, uh, these uh, we will use Philip head double zero and for opening the ones which are underneath uh, these uh, we will use this one that's the Philip head zero and these this is the Philip head zero one. okay so now let's start opening this one up. have been opened now we just use you can use your nails or you can I don't I just cut my nails few days back or you can just use this one from the prior and just you know, slide and it's, it will come out basically this is silicon so it won't get dirty you can just quickly pry it out We will open up the screw now. So it has the screws have been removed. Now the the only problem that I have with this particular with these sort of particular models is that they don't open quickly. So you need a prior tool, a pry tool to open this up. So what do I, what do I do, what do I prefer is instead of buying those stuff from the market, I use my guitar platforms and these are here. So we'll just use these and we'll just pry it out, right? 
So let's do it. It's a very uh, delicate process. So it's better that you do it uh, if only do it if you know how to do it, or else you can spoil the entire laptop body. And once. Much, much, much later. Okay, so this is my battery which I changed last time in the last video. Uh, this is my first RAM in this in one shot. This is the other empty slot, right? This is my graphic unit. This is my Pentium i7 core. This is my hard drive. That's my SATA. Like that's the SSD. That I'll show you. So that's my battery, that's my battery, that's my RAM, that's the entire, beneath, see it's it's quite dirty, so I will just clean it up, so just, I will set you up again. So this is our new RAM, that's the crucial 8GB, 1.9V, 2666MHz RAM. Take a brush, a paint brush and just clean the channels as it, it's been a long time it has been in no use so it's better that we clean it up properly also the other ports as the chance you get it's it's good for the laptop that you clean this stuff up okay so as you can see here and here there's a clip so we get to we need to align this RAM to it so we cannot put it like this yeah so as you can see here it is a groove right so this groove needs to be fitted inside the groove that is here so it won't fit like this logo kya lagta hai ke package like ye tagging upar hai to aise fit ho jayega nahi ye second slot mein dal rahe hum log to we have to put it like this so the groove matches you can see the line right so you just no no need to do anything just keep it at an angle of 30 degree the way you see the golden these connectors going inside the port like this and you won't be able to see any golden line and just press it press it like a puzzle so i have like now i'll just press it see now so that's it the ram has been fixed inside the second ram has been installed so i will just clean it up again and just check it i'll just check it once again so as you saw i have this complaint with hp that they need to seriously need to work on the design or is they are going to lose a great customer base because this thing can damage your body eventually because the body is entirely aluminum and this is and this is pure plastic okay and let's try to boot this up i hope it works let's try to boot this up laptop has been closed now let's just try and reboot it okay now let's also just brush this up let's reboot it
All right. So we have a win-win situation. Uh, as you can see in the properties, 16 GB installed, right? So that's the Intel iCore i7, 16 GB RAM, and we are good to go. We'll just uh, just one more. We will just do a one more check. So let's just do it. That's task manager performance and see that's the RAM and it shows it's 15.9 GB in use so that's great but we'll still uh, just close it up I can feel it has gone it has become a lot smoother than it was before so I guess that's great it has become a lot smoother so just see you in a bit best thing about this is uh, as soon as I increased my RAM to 16 GB my GPU has also started working because first of all it was only taking load on the Intel UHD graphics now it is the Nvidia one is also working great success